Now. Thanks so much for joining us for 11 News at 4 on this Friday. I'm Adam Atchison. and Lindsay's off. We're going to start the hour with an 11 breaking news alert. A southern Colorado city is taking over control of the only shelters there for those who are experiencing homelessness. Just hours ago, the city of Pueblo announced that the Pueblo Rescue Mission has signed over the deed for one of its locations and also plans to sign over the other in the coming days. 11 News reporter Michelle Wells is joining us live outside the Pueblo Rescue Mission. Uh, Michelle, I know you've been speaking with city leaders and, and those at the Rescue Mission. What's next here? As of right now, the Pueblo Rescue Mission remains open and is still providing overnight shelter for those in need. They're also taking new individuals who need a place to stay. Now the city tells us, and I want to get this right, I want to uh, make sure that I don't misquote the city, but the city tells us they now plan to search for a third party agency to take over operations for the shelter. Next week, Mayor Heather Graham will meet with city council to outline a plan for the future of the shelter. In a news release, today, the city says turnover in leadership and a criminal investigation into financial misconduct at the shelter by a former employee are some of the reasons for this decision. They also say Pueblo, the Pueblo Rescue Mission was suspended from services through Care and Share Food Bank for misappropriating food. In a statement, Pueblo Rescue Mission Board Chair Pastor Ken Wood says, quote, we are grateful to the city for stepping in to ensure that this critical service continues. Continues. Mayor Graham says in part, we are all committed to the same goal of ensuring Pueblo unhoused are cared for and can seek shelter. The city hopes to have that new third party agency in control of the shelter starting in January. And if you want to help the rescue mission in the meantime, you can make donations through the United Way of Pueblo. There is also a fundraiser being organized by Safeside Recovery Center on October 12th. Live in Pueblo, Michelle Wells, KKTV 11 News. Still gathering reaction on this story, so we'll have the latest coming up on 11 News at 530. Michelle, thank you. Let's turn to your weather.